This week on Pop Fiction, we're talking movies, 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 and movies. Lots of movies. This is 252 Pop Fiction, where we'll give you all the news and reviews in pop culture that's right to type. Today, instead of the top story, we're going to be talking about... Top the, movies? Well, the movies that we've seen oh. in 2021 so far. All right. And JB, why don't you kick us off? Well, let's start with the big one and my favorite movie this year. Dune. 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 Loved it. Dune was great. Oh, absolutely. I dug it. I, I'm glad it's a series, too. You know, normally I get upset. I'm like, you know what? I got to come back next year. <laughs> I, but this time, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to Dune. And uh, that Timothy Chalamet. I'm not a fan. <laughs> and this movie did a great job. Not a fan. Not only am I not a fan... For the record, I've never seen his work. I didn't see Dune. I didn't see that King movie. I didn't see nothing. Oh, and they okay. just keep talking about this kid, and I'm all like, boo that man. No, no I, I, didn't know, right. I didn't know who he was, so he said so. I just thought he's that kid from Dune. No, he's that kid from Dune. Oh. Okay, taking it down, taking it back a tick. I know you saw this one. Oh, yeah. The uh, No Time to Die, the final Daniel Craig, James Bond, 007 joint. Ralphie, what did you think? Um, I think I need to see it still. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Haven't you yet. haven't seen it? I, I loved it. Yeah. You didn't? Oh, yeah. Oh, it, was, it was great. 163 great. minutes is a long time to sit in a theater. Hey, yeah. it's, it's yeah. the long goodbye. It is, Plus it 20 is. minutes of preview. It has to be. It has to be very captivating. It has to be something mm. a little bit more than what it is. And... Um, um, I definitely am spending way too much time in movie theaters now. Right. Two and a half, three hours. Come on. Every uh, movie is two and a half, three hours nowadays. Well, just also, about also uh, released, we had Halloween Kills and The French Dispatch. I missed The French Dispatch. I wanted to see it because I love and hate Wes Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> when he's teamed up with Owen Wilson, his movies are golden. Right. And this is the first time since... The uh, Life Aquatic, Aquatic with Steve Zissou that Owen Wilson has come back to the team. And I wanted to see it, and I didn't. It just went right by I, me. I wasn't a fan of Bottle Rocket. Bottle Rocket was, was an odd movie. But <laughs> that know. was his first one out the box. Yeah. I always give a pass on the very first movie. All right. I, do I don't. Mm, that's yeah, the yeah, one that brings the, the, That's the one. The, the yeah. first movie is like, that's what's up. Um... Now Halloween Kills. Very I divisive. Did, I did Very not. Divisive. I didn't watch Halloween Kills, but I much. did watch the movies that made us. So I saw the begin, the Halloween, Halloween, the beginning, the whole John Carpenter thing, and how they were like Jamie Lee Curtis. They were like, never heard of her, you know. <laughs> right. But I do like what they're doing with this Halloween franchise now. Uh, the Halloween '79 or '78 is where everything starts. And then it skips to uh, Halloween from 2018, and then Halloween Kills is the third. They're just everything else is just. You mean Halloween H two O didn't happen? None of that happened because she dies <laughs> in the series. Well, well, no, she was hurt in the hospital. Apparently, she didn't die from the fall in this movie. The cliffhanger. Oh, she lived at the last yeah. minute, and they rushed her to the emergency room. I, 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 say, I would say that she dies in the series, in like the one of the nineties. Uh, she was she was off. jacked yeah. up in the beginning of the movie, pretty right. bad because she got hurt. They in just the movie said, before. I assume, I assume because I saw it a long time ago mm -hmm. you that this about one it. takes mm -hmm. place right after H two O. It does. No, I, not H two O. H two O is she, not. Listen. In the, I think H2O literally was the last one I saw. I was like, yucky. Yeah, no, this this takes place right after Halloween 2018. Moving forward, a movie that I did want to see because it actually looked good, but I know you did, mm -hmm. was Last Night in Soho. Yeah, Last Night in Soho. Um, I give it a thumbs I, up. Yeah, I like, uh, what is her name? Anya, Anna Taylor. I, I, Anna I, Taylor, I, I, watched, Taylor. I watched the, the, the Queen's Gambit. Yeah. And I that was, was like, a good show. that was really, that I, was I really did good. Watch that. That was Unfortunately, good. I also watched the New Mutant. That not good. <laughs> she was not good in that. And what was it? The uh, 
Split. Split. Oh yeah. I liked her in Split. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, movie. I'm like digging her, but she looked a little odd to me, a little, little elvish. I oh, guess. In, in Split. Yeah. You, you well, know. in that movie. No, nah, I'm just saying she does. Oh, she like, looks okay. Yeah. I get it. Well, no spoilers because I'm seeing last night Soho tonight. All okay. right. Well, we'll get a full review next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Last Duel. I think I'm the only one who saw that. Yeah. It is are. long, but it is good. <laughs> it's a Rashomon movie. Okay. You got three stories being told. From three different perspectives. From three different people, yeah. their historical account of what happened, mm -hmm. and they do not match up. Well, and I love when the Rashomon effect is done well. Okay. All I know is anytime you got a historical movie with Matt Damon in it, I just remember The Wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was not historical. Ponytail movie. <laughs> that was that was not historical. That I was don't hysterical. I, 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 don't <laughs> I don't think that one's gonna make it into the history class. Uh, yeah, you never know. Yeah, yeah they built a wall to keep out the dragons. I don't know, man. The Legend of Bagger Vance. I don't know. I see Matt. I see Matt Damon doing anything. And I'm like, Matt, <laughs> that, I'm just like, hey, man. <laughs> I think he's done some better movies than that. I'm just know. saying. <laughs> hey, you got Will Smith. Yeah, who, who's the female lead in Bagger Vance? Oh, it does it sure he's no. Is it? Is it? Yes. Seriously? Oh, oh man. Why do I not remember that? Love her. Um, Army of Thieves. Haven't seen it, but I have it. It's in the. It's in my queue. I have not okay. seen Army of Thieves. I have not seen Night Teeth. I, I heard it was pretty good. All right. I, I heard it was pretty good. Out. Gonna check it out. Love the German. Venom. Let there be. Carnage. Yeah, that's every carnage. Well, okay, so I guess we're just gonna skip, skip that. Skip that. So, skip but Free Guy <laughs> was surprisingly. I enjoyed Free Guy. It was surprisingly upbeat. Right. Surprisingly I, refreshing. I, I, I gotta say one thing though. This has happened a few times to me where I go, I'm overtired, and I go to see a late show, mm -hmm. and I sleep through like 20 minutes of the movie, and I wake up, and I haven't missed anything. Oh, yeah. That is Free Guy. Oh, right. You know, it was entertaining, yeah. but I slept through the whole middle of it and missed nothing. Yeah. That's good. You know what? One of the best reviews I heard about Free Guy, I don't know who said it, but they said if, um, if Ready Player One was good, it would be Free Guy. <laughs> I didn't think Ready Player One was that bad. I enjoyed right. it. Well, you were on that side of it. Yeah, I like yeah, Ready Player I, I like Free Guy. You know what? It's all right. Now let's talk about a movie that, uh, well, we know JB didn't like. <laughs> Antlers. <laughs> what a wonderful movie Antlers was. Yeah. And at least it's under 100 minutes, so. Yeah, yeah, it took 100 but minutes just, for something to happen. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, the boy is walking home from school again. Let's watch the entire journey. Come on, Carrie Russell. Was she good at least? No. <sighs> No, all right. but no, no, like she, she did a good yeah. performance, uh -huh. but in this movie's a, but all, all for not. Okay. This movie's a sinker. Hypnotic. I don't even remember that one coming out. Maybe I remember not. some of these on our list probably have not come out. Yeah, and that one. Yeah, Red Notice. Uh, these are. Let's this keep going. A, ah, Black Widow. Black all right. Widow. This movie was probably twenty minutes too long. Yeah. It was entertaining in uh, spurts. And, and, uh, it, and, it came out, and it came out about four years too late. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I agree with that. With that, with that being said, for it being the one of the only Marvel movies that was truly just an enclosed, encapsulated movie, you know, right. I I would say that it was it was it was decent, you know, and it, uh, it was all the stuff that happened. It's the solo. The, it's the solo a Star Wars story of the Marvel universe, basically. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that bad. But it like, was. Uh, but it wasn't like it was. It was good. The, but the it actors in like, it were good. But you know what it is? Yeah, the it's, acting it's, was good. The yeah. humor was good. Yeah. It's just. I thought the story was uninteresting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wasn't... Uh, I don't know. I wasn't... And, and, it's the movie, and it's the movie... It's the MCU movie after Endgame. Scar but Joe. even though actually... Spider-Man Far From Home was like but we were still like digesting oh yeah still Endgame digesting all that when stuff when Far yeah. From Home came and then we had that long break and then we had all those good Disney Plus uh, shows, shows that right. came out and then we was like yeah, the, the fever was back and yeah. then it was like eh. yeah, so she, yeah. yeah it's like Shang-Chi was much better yeah Shang-Chi uh, was very yeah. good Shang-Chi I'll give it a round. Hey, we're gonna get we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Yeah. Number eighteen on our list, old. The M Night Shamanamanan 
He's back. He's doing this thing again. And I remember and, and, and Angel, she, woo, she wanted to see this. She's like, baby, yeah. let's go. And I was watching the whole trailer, and it said, by the mind of M. Night Shyamalan. Said, oh, too bad we can't go see him. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come yeah, on, his, man. His name is... Fool me once. Put some spec on his once. name, all right? Fool me twice. The Shyamalan... Fool me five times, respect. Robbie. Yeah, I know. Five He's times. He's got some stinkers in the middle. Five right? Five. But he did come back strong with this compelling story. And After Earth. That was not good. <laughs> was the last good. airbender. Terrible. He made, he's made bad ones, but he's made some decent ones. Yeah, uh, yeah the first one. The Lady in the Water was, was good. not um, good. But no, it wasn't. No, Unbreakable I enjoyed yeah. a lot. Yes. I also enjoyed Signs. No. Yeah. Even yeah, though I'm not good. one of those crazies who think aliens are nope. messing with their crops. Trash. I think but they were demons. Good movie. The Happening I did not like. That yeah. was awful. You know, it's like Wahlberg. Yeah. He hits like good. every other one, doesn't he? No, no, not even oh. every other one. The first one, <laughs> the second one, a gang of misses. <laughs> Split. You know, the Lost us on glass. <laughs> Lost yeah, effect. I know. Glass could have been so much. Glass okay. oh, is where they just kill every character. Next, it's interesting. I next know. on the list is this is what happens when you make a movie 20 years after the social oh, wow. material is over. I, the many saints of Newark, I actually start watching Sopranos mm-hmm. in, 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 in preparation. In preparation, and I'm like, this isn't a gangster show, it's a soap opera, and I turn it off mm-hmm. after like the third season. And I watched the movie, and I knew who most of the guys were, yeah. and I really didn't care. Yeah, there you go. I didn't care about this movie. I didn't care what... I don't know what's happening to who. I'm like, okay, that must be a newer character, because I don't remember who that person is. And, and I know the Just, thing was, because uh, Tony Soprano's... Kid, I, I'm sorry. Gam- James Gandolfini's son. son was... Play, but... Yeah. What, what did you think? He ain't no O'Shea Jackson Jr. I you that. <laughs> Next, That's what I we think. have Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Ring. Man, I like this movie. Uh, that a good was, movie. That, that was, was a good movie. This movie had everything. The only thing that I would say, if I'm nitpicky, is unfortunately it did fall into the same MCU formulatic. You gotta have a big CGI fight at the end. Of course. But... All the way up into that, the whole way that they made it, this it world was, it was and compelling. everything, it was compelling. Yeah. It brought you in. Yeah. I, I felt like if I was Asian American, it would be my Black Panther. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it was I'd be a like Shang Chi all the way. You know, oh, ten yeah. rings. You know what I mean? I don't know what they're signing. I, I, don't, I don't know either. I that's think. probably disrespectful. <laughs> 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 but what I am gonna say <laughs> is uh, <laughs> Shang Chi uh, hit on all cylinders. Um, Aquafina was not annoying in this. No, she, she wasn't. was. She was. She was good. She didn't overdo her. Uh, she usual sounded thing. exactly she the great. way she did in the Last Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really did. Which I liked. I liked so did I. Ray, 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 Oh Lord! What else we got? Oh, we skipped over a movie I refuse to see. Well, that's why we skipped it. <laughs> Lamb. Apparently, it is a sequel to some other turn of a movie. Ah. Like, first of all, when oh, I can't recognize, so I like a not name. like Numi Rapace. No, 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 no. This is about a half lamb, half human, half human child. I did not see Ted because the priest, the, the, the premise was so ridiculously stupid. I refused to see it. Ted was Lamb good. falls right with it. Well, I will I'm, not I'm watch a movie. Right I, no, no, I'm not going to watch a movie by a teddy bear that, that's still alive. <laughs> a, Ted was oh, funny. Ted too, goodness. not so much. <laughs> no, nah, man, when they had to go to Tom Brady, <laughs> they had a code because they were trying to get Tom Brady's juice. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. What do we have next? Uh, These, has uh, it Oh, the Suicide Squad. The I suicide dug squad. that movie. I, I I thought it was good. I honestly, I thought it was all right. I thought it, yeah. I thought it was all right. I, 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 you know what? I watched. It I just yeah. actually, I paid to go see Suicide Squad. Had it at the house. Still went to the theater. Yeah. I, I I love the fact that they brought in 
I'm not, I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not saying who it's they brought It's been in. like six months. <laughs> All right, I like the fact they brought in Star the Conqueror and had a huge fight with him. Yeah. yeah. But I could care less about any of those characters. It's like, let's take the worst B-list trash characters. Oh, they weren't even B-list. They were like F-list. <laughs> and I'm like... The detachable oh. kid? I mean... Oh, yeah. Like, what oh, was he? Man. Breaking arm? Arm fall off Arm boy. fall off boy? Yeah. yeah but Harley just, Quinn was great. Bloodsport. They still, awesome. you know what the thing about? No, I, I thought was Bloodsport really was goofy. His guns were just look like look like uh, the Lego movie type <laughs> apparatuses. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was thought, so cheesy. I thought that. It not was, the acting, oh, yeah. not the acting, but the special effects yeah. made him look especially like just, at that point where he did his English accent. Or excuse me, his American accent, okay. and it reminded me of String of Bell. <laughs> I was like, it's String of Bell, he's back, baby, he's back. Oh boy, what do we got here? Uh, the oh. next one. Uh, Ron's gone wrong. I did see that. You did, saw did that? You? Oh, did you take your nephew? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I. What I about, don't know. I'm on the fence with Ron's Gone Wrong. It certainly had good elements to it, mm-hmm. but it, it's the same tiresome message. We have to cure social media. It's destroying us. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say it like that. I mean... That's what this movie's saying. Social media Again. is destroying the world. <laughs> <laughs> in ways. And, uh, We're going to be saved by little right robots too. created by these genius teenagers. So still, technology is a thing that's going to save us. Yes, but yes. By the technology that's killing us. Yes. Yeah, right. Whatever. I'm on the fence about it. I mean, it definitely had good now, moments. Let's go ahead and roll on into Cruella and Paranormal Activity next again. All right. I'm pretty sure you guys, nobody here saw this. I saw Cruella. I did Did not. you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I like Disney. Yeah? Yeah. I'm shot, JB. <laughs> well, I saw it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it was good? It was It was long winter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You had the great. Emmas in it. You had the Emmas. It wasn't great. It's got the Emmas. Oh, no. It's got I the mean, Emmas. I, I, it was I, well acted. Yes. One of my favorite animated Disney movies is 101 Dalmatians. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the human characters were in there. They didn't have the Twilight Bark, which was the best part of 101 Dalmatians. But... One thing, was, one thing that I did hear about this movie long. is that all the music that all the music cues and music that they used was like on the nose for the scene. Ah. Like, uh, what, what do you call it for the devil? He's got the monkeys. He's got the monkeys. <laughs> <Cruella comes out. laughs> Sympathy for the devil comes on. It's like, come uh, on, I don't need to hear it. Malignant. Malignant. I, I mean, like this movie. I think I'm uh, squarely in the middle of you two about this movie. Um, or, wait, who, which one of you saw that? I saw it. Oh, uh, you haven't yeah. seen it yet? No. Well... I did not. I don't believe I saw it at the theater. I believe this was one I wasn't that one that was put on. Yes, HBO. Yeah, yeah, I watched it on HBO. Maybe I would have had a different effect in the theater. Uh, they pulled the Ooh. they pulled the whoop, a whoop wham on me because uh, I thought everything that they showed in the trailer was going to just give away the movie. But the movie takes a nice turn. Well, no talk about this one here. I want to talk about where the trailer did not really. The tell you trailer anything. actually yeah. the trailer was much better than the the, the actual film well not for what me what was that the green knight oh <laughs> wow that that has my vote of worst movie of the year <laughs> that was green the T.I. long <laughs> and boring oh long boring pointless yeah I uh, just did you but what did I, you wait, learn? I gotta say there, I, 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 I say, learned not to see the green knight I'm gonna go like this I hear what you're saying I, I wanna say uh, Dev Patel as an actor he's, he's great he's made some interesting choices yeah. in his career yeah. and this he's, one I feel like this one was gonna this this actually this movie actually tracked very well but when you saw it it was a slog <laughs> yeah the slogs man they uh, just like, it's just this is one of those movies you know is going to win best picture yeah exactly <laughs> because everybody hates it it's yeah. not entertaining in the slightest it's definitely another bird man I liked Birdman. Oh, you are crazy. You no. did not like Birdman. You lied to Bird, me. Birdman was trash. No, seriously. Oh, you, like, you know what else? I liked it. So let's go ahead and go now with 
Um, the Adams Family Two. The, yeah, the Adams Family Two. I saw the first one and I refused to yeah. see this one. Oh, uh, we yeah. took my nephew to see it. I'm and about to say he my, didn't enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say my kids are actually at that uh, point where there's, there's certain the, the, things that they. Or they know now movies can't. But be trash. we did watch Army of Dead and the family enjoyed it. I'm like Zack Snyder. I, I saw 11 trash. minutes of that movie. I was like, <laughs> they had, you. they had, uh, they had a great movie. In the very beginning of the movie, right? <laughs> that was a great movie, and then there was a better movie during a scene in the movie, which actually it was uh, Army of Thieves. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch that because I hadn't watched that one yet. It's in my queue. Is that by Zach also? Um, hmm. I'm not sure, but I want to say so. Hey, cop guys. shop. Oh, I didn't see I, it. I but, love uh, cop shop. Ray, Ray and I just loved it. But he's also that. a big Gerard Butler and oh, a big man. Frank Grillo fan. All right, I don't I think, trust I think now. cop <laughs> shop is a sleeper hit. It just it, it it is it is a pure action movie. Yeah, it's okay. got twists and turns. It's I exciting. Like it's it's fast paced. All right, it's just everything you want. It, it, it's you know I, it's like it a was, Die Hard, and okay. it was. Like not like critically panned, but pretty much they were like, "This is trash." <laughs> but <laughs> it seems sense, you will enjoy senseless, it. like senseless oh, violence. Yeah. yeah, that's my favorite kind. <laughs> my favorite kind of violence, yeah. senseless. <laughs> um, Candyman. Candyman. Candyman so, was awesome. Loved it. Yeah, great, yeah. great, great follow up to Candyman. Yeah, and I would, I would, I would, I actually been doing great. You know, he just got banged on. They was um, what was it? James Wan had said that trench movie that he was supposed to do was actually going to be a backdoor Black Manta movie. Ooh. So Black Manta was actually going to get it, but then you know, it got. Shit can. Yeah. So As he can't do that. But should. when he did the um the Watchmen and stuff like that, mm -hmm. everything he was, that he wonderful was doing, he that. was great. So good. And uh we're gonna end this one here with, with the best movie the of the best year. Movie of the year. <laughs> Fast Nine, F Nine, the Fast the Saga. Fast Saga. Ah, I just couldn't see the Fiero in space. <laughs> oh, laughing. it was ridiculous. Right? I was I laughed, laughing. I every and didn't yeah. that thing just blow up? <laughs> like <laughs> I'm saying, it's it, that movie was so ridiculous, but it was fun. It was really oh, fun I am. and very meta. These movies have never been meta, but there, there was there was too meta. There was there was too. <laughs> he's like, hey man, we should be dead. You, you're should right, be dead, my friend Tyrese. None of this is possible. Yeah, exactly. Why are you guys even doing this? What happened to the street racing? <laughs> what happened to the D D TV DVD combos? Uh, yeah, uh, it's like the I first know. movie. Where you guys, <laughs> Robin Trucks. <laughs> I'm saying the first movie comes out, and I'm watching this documentary on it, and they're saying it's it's a pure car movie like James Bond. All the cars are real. All right. They're all being crashed yes. for real. Oh, he left that behind in the first movie, <laughs> didn't they? they no, no, they, I think uh, the, the fourth movie is when it started getting ridiculous. Yeah, I, I would have to say one, two, better. and three. They were still about car racing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They're the, they're the Avengers. They're the multicultural Avengers. Yeah. And you know what? Fast 10, I'm watching it, And baby. Fast 11, I'm going to shed a tear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vin Diesel has got to die. You know, we, <laughs> we've had a lot of fun. These were the first 50 titles. Tune in tomorrow for the other 11,622. Yeah, that's what we're not going to do. <laughs> hey, I'm in it to win it, baby. Let's do what we do. What we do. We're going to do what we do. And with that being said, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ah, uh, uh, daughter, pull yourself together. Pull yourself together.